Okay guys, just messing around with some materials I need as you do, having a bit of crack and come up with this wee fly here, I think it might work for the for the Dalagon so I just wanted to sort of way show you it. Um, hopefully you can tie a few up and I can catch you a few fish. So the hook in the vise is a size 12 Partridge Patriot double um, in black nickel. The thread I'm going to start off with is a uni 3801 white. And it's just because we want to put a hot butt at the back of the fly. I just want to try and keep it bright. So I'm just going to come in with my thread. I'm going to start at a few mil behind the eye of the hook. Run on a few mil of thread and remove the waist tag. Now the tag at the back of the fly is going to be a, a novel gold tinsel in small. Um, what's that here? To show you the spool. So Just like the offer my oval gold tinsel underneath the hook then bring the oval tinsel underneath the, the shank of the hook and then I'm just going to work my thread down now I usually bring my thread down until I'm sort of way in line with the, the points of the hook and then I'll come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel and on my last turn bring it up and in between the the two hooks. Come around with a turn to hold and a couple of turns will secure that in for you. And then we'll just come in and trim away the the excess. Now the tail on the fly is going to be orange uh, glistening glow slinky fibre stuff here. So it's going to take a small pinch of this just trim it away from the hank. That's the hank there. So you have plenty of flies out of that, it'll be bad. So, I just want to put some sort of taper into the material. And then, just going to have a wee look. Just the length of the hook from a tail over the back. Now, if you like your tail shorter, you tad shorter. I'm just going to tighten up on this. Come on back down towards the tag. Then I want to come in and just trim away the excess and a bit of a tapered cut. Now the hot butt at the back is going to be a glow bright floss number 10. So I'm just going to take a length off, trim it away from the spool, just double it over just to make it a wee bit more thicker for you. I'm just going to pull this in the length, then work the thread up the breadth that I want the the hot pot to be and just twisting the glow bright floss with each turn just to get the two strands to form together and then I'm just going to come around with a couple of turns to secure this in and just trim this same length as my glistening glow and then I'm going to run my thread up just securing this in Now at this stage I'm going to switch over because I want the head to be red to a uni thread 80 in red. So simply start it off. Just tie up over your white thread. And then you can come in keeping a hold of your white thread on the bobbin holder and your excess red and just trim the both away. Now on the way back down the rib on the fly is going to be the ultra wire by UTC in blue. So the length off here. So just going to offer this in underneath the, the shank of the hook. A couple of turns will secure that in. Then bring it underneath the shank. Then I'm just going to work my thread down now. Just until I'm tied up against the glow bright floss butt. The body is going to be a gold and silver uni miner. In size 12. Now I want the, the silver side. So just want to get a length off here. Now, because you want the silver side, you need to tie it in with the gold side. If you're tying it on top, either facing up, or if you're tying it on the side, facing yourself. So, just get it offered up the hook, tie it in. 
just going to run the thread up and then you can come around with a nice clean turn straight turn under the glow bright frost tag and then you just want one turn overlapping the other to create your body follow it around with your thread just get nice tight turns in there now to, just to secure it in and then you can come in and trim away the excess before I bring up our rib just want to check make sure I'm straight yep happy with that then we can bring up our rib we're going three or four turns onto the body up to there following around with your thread keeping your thread nice and tight to secure in your wire now make sure your wire is well secured in because this is what's holding your your fly together and keeping your thread tight and bend and break away the wire you can trim the wire if you've got designated scissors you can trim the wire it's up to you the wing grey squirrel tail dyed yellow right, I'm just going to take a small pinch of this off trim it away now, I like to stack my squirrel tail but you don't have to you can put it on the way it is it's fine the way it is it's just my preference just to stack it so I'm going to give this a rattle on my desk take it out of the stagger and all the tips have lined up Now you can have your wing as long and short as you like. It's everybody's personal preference, but I'm going to have mine less the length of the tail over the back. So I'm just going to hold it here with my finger and thumb. Come in with my scissors. Just trimming the excess over my waist bin. Just going to get this squirrel as close to the shank of the hook as I can. And then I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then another. Then I'm just going to tighten up. Got a few nice tight turns in there just to secure it in. My squirrel tail has a tendency to pull out. So the best thing to do is to come in with some super glue or varnish. Whatever you like to use. Just going to be lick onto the thread. Just going to keep a hold of my wing. And then bring the thread with the super glue on it down over the cut ends. Just make sure it's well secured in. Now, any access, you can just come in and wipe it away. Now, if you want to lower the wing, you can just come in with your thumb or your finger and just crease the, the squirrel here, and this will lower it for you. The wing will lower. Once you start facing it, the, the wing will lower on the fly. Now, I'm going to put a couple of strands of mirror flash into the wing. This is it here. So, I'm going to get two strands. Offered up into the wing. Right. There's already flies in the tail, so if you don't like too much flies in your flies, you don't need to put flies into the into the wing. Right. I'm just going to offer these up and down the sides of the fly, around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns to secure. I'm going to fold back the access. A couple of turns back up over the top. Right. I'm just going to keep a hold of the longer pieces of the flash and trim it away now it's just a wee bit too long so I'm just going to come in and fix those now I'm going to put a wee throw onto the fly I should have had this out it's just going to be a sunburst cock haggle so just get one of the bigger feathers from the top of the cape just ones that you would you'd never use so it's a good way to use your materials up wee flies like this and sit down and tie wee patterns like this, you know. <laughs> don't have to tie all the same flies all the time. Experiment, get the river, throw wee patterns like this on. You just don't know. You end up catching you a bag full. Or they can end up catching you none. <laughs> but you have to try. Now, what I want to do is just take a couple of pinches of the fibre off the haggle. Some people like their throat short, long. I just like to have mine when I'm putting the throat on to come back and touch the tag at the back. Now, 
just going to come round, just hold up my finger and thumb, come round with a pinching loop, and then a couple of turns just to hold it and secure it in place. It's not tied in now. I just like to spin it round. Okay, I'm just going to try and just show you this. And if it's moved, you can just bring it back round the way you like. Just get it sitting nice. And then you can tighten up. Now, there it is there underneath. Hopefully you can you can see that on the camera. So just come back round. Or a couple of turns just to tighten everything up. Come in, just gonna push my thread away, come in with my scissors and trim away the excess of the haggle. Now at this stage to build my head up, I don't continue on down and take a wide sweep of a turn and then build my head up from the front. It's best to build your head up from the front rather than build your head up coming down towards the eye unless you wax your thread. The thread will slip. Right, I'm just going to build the head up because I want to, the head's part of the fly and I want it to be nice and bright. Right, I'm happy with that so I'm going to keep my thread tight. I'm just going to come in with my whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish on the way back down. Pull the thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away your thread. Right, at this stage, I'm going to just come in and get a wee look at the fly. See how we're sitting looks grand hey, just a first coat on the head just to seal up the thread turns I just like to put on some super glue now you don't want to get into your wing so just take your time and get it onto your your head just right the whole way right round and then once that's dry guys I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish and the reason why I put the varnish on is in my opinion is once you start to fish it you'll get a moisture bloom um, on the head the head will turn white um, once it's in your fly box so look there you go guys it's just a wee simple pattern but, you know whether it works or not tie a few up try it out for the dalagon and if it catches your fish please come back and let me know and um, Many thanks for taking the time to view the video.